it's a beautiful thing when you can see when we're not even at our best um so many games being played and you i think really start to see fatigue creep into this team um and that's just natural it's not necessarily a bad thing especially when we're getting points um but they're tired some of the lazy passes the just the drop the whole drop off in the second half which we're usually known to turn it on um it shows it shows and you know six days seven days whatever it was rest um it's it's a mental and physical wear and tear and fatigue on your body and so um that's to be expected the good things clean sheet obviously uh another win um obviously broke some kind of record on points at this uh, at this stage of a season um Firmino gets another goal so he's 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 um adding to his tally let's get to the bad things uh, is it impossible for professional football players to yell man on to their teammate when they're being pressed in our own half particularly People will say, oh, Henderson again, he get the ball. Well, yeah, he get it. Oh, he got, or he got picked off easily. It's just as much as his fault as the team's fault. Why is anyone yelling man on? And if they are, why isn't he hearing it? You know, I, so it, it, to me, it's, 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 it's both ways. Then in the second half, Genie gets picked. Although Genie had some moments there where he kept the ball for us, which was great. That's what Genie does. But, um, you know, same thing. Where's the man on shout? Uh, you know, Spurs ran us into a tunnel there, and, and we got stuck. So, you know, credit to them. They just couldn't finish their, their chances today. That's what it came down to. Um, the Chelsea had an incredible chance. I mean, it's almost impossible to, to miss it the way he missed it. That that was just, wow. So they had their chances, but again, I, I never really felt like Spurs were going to threaten us today. And they had some shots on target. Um, most of them were right to Allison. So, you know, Onyx was saying, man, the match shot for him. I, you know, I don't think he had to work too hard. Um, but, yes, safe pair of hands is always good. Um, to me, the man in the match was Mane. And people might hear that and say, oh, man, you, you know, you're just being a homer. That's, you know, you just like bigging up Mane. I, uh, yes, I do like bigging him up, but also when he deserves it. The defensive work this brother put in this game today. And this is and this is what I talk about with, with Mane. If he's not, and, and he, he's always going to be effective, so I want to say he wasn't effective. But he wasn't at his typical offensive, you know, relentless self necessarily. I mean, he always is going to be a threat for any team. And, and, and always going to be a great player for us when it comes to going forward. Um, the, the young kid, um, Taganga, was, I thought was good today, uh, being really physical. The, the amount of physicality it takes to stop Salah and Mane is just incredible. Um, and they were definitely doing that. A lot of shirt tugging with rolls on, on Salah and, and uh, Taganga, Taganga on, um, on, on Mane. I hope I'm getting that brother's name right. But I thought Mane was just so good today, so strong, so relentless. Um, so desperate to just keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. And, um, you know, again, overall, it was not a great game. This was not a, um, you know, a, uh, it wasn't a game that we're going to, personally, I'm going to look back on and say, oh, I can't wait to watch some of the, the highlights of that or some of the moments of that because it was one of those games, just broken game, a kind of game that I think Jose Mourinho would have, would have, Jose Mourinho would have, would have pre prepared, you know, um, very scrappy, um, not much. Uh, things happening in the game besides pink. Look, this was their plan. At home, play defense. If you get the ball, knock it up the field to some, you know, um, ghostly 12th man for Spurs. I mean, a lot of times they were just hitting the ball into space, into green space and hoping that, you know, uh, Mora or, or, or Son can run onto it. They didn't have a real plan beyond that. Um, in the second half, again, we were a bit sloppy, gave some things away, credit to them. Um, and they had some chances, but again, didn't finish it. But the, the first half, they were, it was more so just, let's try to soak up the pressure, defense and for our lives. Somebody tweeted, I think it was Rance from Rance and Bance, tweeted out, you know, it's, it's, it's basically park the bus and inshallah. That is it, park the bus and inshallah. Because that, that's really what all, that's, the, that's really what their game plan was. Park the bus and just and pray and, and, and hope to God that, that, that things go well. Um, so I think, um, you know, overall, great, great, great win. Um, not a great performance, but again, at this point in the season, injury, so many games, I really couldn't care less how we look on the way to getting three points. I really don't. Um, we have a channel here to talk about it and dissect it, which I'm going to do always. But at the end of the day, that's just for the sake of, you know, speaking about the game, analyzing the game. But it's about getting the wins, and that's really all I care about. Couldn't care less how it looks or whatever. Um, thought uh, Ricky came on, looked looked pretty good. Um, 
uh, with with a, a bit of time that he had. But you know, again, it's just it's just good to see when we're not even at our best um, and, and clicking on all cylinders, we can still get these wins, man. And 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 today it was just the goal that we needed. Had chances to get more goals. Um, obviously, would have been nicer to get that second goal at least, just to kind of finish it off. Um, but we did. We had to do. You know, there's a point there at the end of the game where Lamella gets the ball. By the way, I don't know why Lamella thinks he's such a tough guy. I don't, what's up with that? But um, he's dribbling through, and we're just parting the Red Sea for him. You know, Gomez and Van Dyke are literally just opening up centrally. You know, if that's Kane, that might be finished. You know, anybody else but Lamella's bum ass. But you know, so it's, it's just mentally and physically today. Some of the things I saw on that pitch were just really atrocious. And that's just my opinion. Not trying to be harsh or anything. I'm just calling like I saw it. Um, it just wasn't good. But, again, um, guys are playing a lot of football. A lot of football and still have the heart to dig out these games. And, um, and, and if, if anything you take away from it, you got to take that. Heart of a champion. Keep fighting. Um, and this is why I, I say this team won't be beat. You know, uh, Martin Atkinson, everybody talked about him going to the game. We know what that is, but we're not at a point now at a club, as a club, and us as supporters shouldn't be at a point now where we're even mentioning his name, really, because we're not at a point where we should be able to depend on that or lean on that. It's the reason why we didn't get a result or why things didn't go our way. Just go win the game. Go win the game. I don't Forget Martin Atkinson. We know who he is. Um, I thought he had some decent calls today, but overall, he's just kind of a joke of a ref in, in, in general. So, But we know that. So there's no point in really even bringing that up as a, as a reason why things didn't go our way. Um, but yeah, all in all, just just proud to get the victory, and we just keep marching on. We, we got a lot of games coming up, really tough stretch. Um, but this is the thing that I keep saying about this team: it's games like this, it's results like this. Forget the performance necessarily; it's results like this that just reassure me, if nothing else, that this team is 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 just destined to do some crazy things this season. So I hope you guys are enjoying the ride. Hope you enjoy the games as much as you could. Um, hope there wasn't too many people nervous at the end of the game. And um, yeah, uh, I'll be talking to you guys soon.